So I'm hoping you guys can help me out with something. Uh, this, this summer we had a little interesting thing happen in the Spencer household. My son had, uh, had got a can of pop and it was hot out so he wanted to make sure that it, that it got really cold really fast. So what he decided to do was put it in the freezer. Well, anyways, like any normal nine-year-old, they kind of forget about things. So when I opened up the when I opened up the freezer a few hours later, I found this can of pop that had exploded and made a made a really big mess. And that's the the interesting thing about water is um, volume. Okay, so remember we've talked about volume. It's how much space something takes up. Well, anyways, water when it freezes, the volume gets bigger, it expands, and that's why the, the can exploded. And then when the, the ice uh, melts, it, it, it shrinks, so the, the volume gets, gets smaller. But what about the mass? Does, does the mass change when, when uh, we change the volume of water? And, and that's what I want you to kind of figure out. That's what I want you to be able to, to tell me. So here's the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need to have a, a little baggie right here, and we'll talk about why you're going to need that here in a second. You're also going to need one of these lovely triple beam balances. That's how you're going to find your, your mass. And then you're going to need to have a little piece of ice straight from my, straight from my freezer this, this morning. All right, so, so let's, let's kind of think about some things. Now, what we want to do in this is we want to compare the mass of the ice with the mass of the water after it, after it melts. So we're going to need to make sure that no ice is lost. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. What we'll do is we can take the, the piece of ice, put it in the baggie, close that up so we don't lose anything and nothing else gets, gets in there, and then we can kind of measure it before and measure it after. Uh, but that's going to be one of the really important things is, is when we're measuring it. We want to measure the mass of the ice in the baggie before it melts and the, the, the mass of the, the water and the ice after it melts. And just be able to compare the two. So what I think we should do is everybody is, even though you're going to be working in groups on this, um, everybody's going to need to kind of take a before and an after picture. So here's what, here's what I think we, we can do. Um, make sure to take a before picture of the, the ice and the baggie on, the, on, your, um, on your triple beam balance. Okay, record that mass. And then kind of get it to, get it to where it, it, it melts. And then measure the, the after part. And then we'll, we'll compare and kind of see what you find. And I'm, like I said, I'm kind of interested to see what you find.